human beings interpret facial neutrality as negative. So if you're a woman, for instance, and you've ever been told to smile as much as this might drive you crazy, and it should, but there's a reason for it. People who are just neutral are interpreted as negative. Regardless of the sex or gender of the participant, it doesn't matter. If you're not making any kind of facial expression, a person who doesn't know you is going to be very cautious and assume the worst. You know, I'll tell you, I give talks all around the world to hundreds of people and the rare occasions where I get in front of an audience where everybody is just kind of sitting there not making any facial expressions, I know my performance is worse because I can't find any positivity cues which benefit my performance. They actually give me energy. I know I'm resonating with somebody in this social contagion kind of way. Emotion is contagious for better and for worse. So when I'm speaking, whether it's giving keynotes in corporate environments or lecturing in a college classroom, I'm always scanning for the friendly face that's smiling at me, that's nodding, and if I can find that person, boom, my performance really improves. Whereas if everybody is just neutral, it's harder for me because there's nothing to anchor onto and you tend to kind of assume they don't like what you're doing. It's not a fair assumption to make, but because of the way we're biologically engineered, we're going to assume that.